report generation. In this section, we will cover how to generate list reports using ProcPrint, how to generate summary reports and frequency tables using ProcMeans and ProcFrag procedures. And then in the end, we will see how to generate various formatted reports using ODS statements. So you can generate reports like HTML, Excel, RTF format, PDF format, etc. using ODS statements that we will see at the end. Let's start with to see how to generate list reports using ProcPrint. As we have seen earlier, ProcPrint procedure is used to generate list reports. They always produces a printed report. You can actually control how you want the report to be appear. So the appearance of the report can be controlled with statements and options. So what is the syntax of ProcPrint? So we have ProcPrint various options. Okay, then you can have the various statements like by, page by, sum by, id, sum and variable. Let's see what these statements mean. Proc print basically print observations in the data set. By what it does is it produces a separate section of the report for each by group. So suppose we want a report for a particular group, right? Then we specify that variable in the by group. Then we have id. It identify observations by the formatted values of the variables that you list instead of by observation numbers, right? Then page by is it control page ejects that occur before a page is full. So we specify the page by and then the number that where we want the page eject to occur. Sum by it limit the number of sums that appear in the report. So it will be like how many sums we want that should appear in the report. It will limit that. Sum, as in the name suggests, it will be the total values of numeric variables. So suppose we want any sum to be displayed. So suppose sum of sales or sum of balance, etc. Then we use the sum statement or option. Then we have var. It select variables that appear in the report and determine their order. So now let's look at the example of proc print and how the various list reports are generated. Okay, so now you can see here. First, we will just activate our libref library. Okay, so now first what we will do is we'll generate a basic list report using proc print. Okay, I will use the sales master data. Let's just have a look at what the sales master data contains. So if you can see here, we have the sales master data which contains customer ID, gender, state, card holder, you know, balance, number of transactions, number of international transactions, credit line, fraud risk and sales. So this is basically, if you remember in the earlier sections, we had two data sets, electric and fashion. So this is all combined into that one data set and we have the sales master data. Okay. And it has 18 rows and total columns of 10. So what we will do is we'll just see the basic list report. What we are having is proc print data. We are specifying the data set where customer ID and balance. So that means we just want these two variables to be printed in the report. Let me just run this code. So you can see we have just customer ID and balance. So this is a basic list report what we get using proc print. Now you can specify whatever variables you want and you will get the corresponding report. The next one is what we are trying to do is if suppose you want to customize your text in the column headings. Okay. So what we are doing is we are having proc print data here. Okay. Split is equal to star. That means it will tell where the split has to occur. Then N, it will show the number of observations. Then this is equal to observation number where again we just want to display customer ID and balance and we are labeling the columns here. Customer ID is customer ID, balance is balance amount and title we are specifying balance amount of the customers. Let me just run this. So if you see here, we have balance amount of the customers which was the title. If you see here, we have specified balance amount of the customers. So that is the title. Label we have customer ID and balance amount. Instead of cust ID and balance, we have customer ID and balance amount. Then we have the observation number column, right? So this is what we have specified here, observation number, okay? Which specifies the observation number one, two, three, right? And total observations at n is equal to 18. So this is where you can customize your no text in the column headings. Okay. Here also you can put some stars or dash dash, whatever you want, and you will get the corresponding list report. Okay. Now suppose you want to generate a report 
by using the by statement that means you want to group the observations so here i want to group the observations by gender so we have two genders in the data right if you see here we have gender one and gender two one corresponds to male two corresponds to female so what i'll do is i want to generate the report based on the gender i will first do the sorting because if you want it to be from the gender perspective you first need to sort your data by gender once you have done this then what we will do is we will run the proc print command again data is equal to this we are using the same data and number of observations where we want three variables customer id balance and sales group by gender if you see here okay now label gender is equal to gender title again balance and sales details of customer based on gender let me just run this okay so now if you see here we have got two tables okay two reports gender is equal to one then all the observations for that gender is equal to two all the observations for that so this is balance and sales details of customer based on gender okay now suppose we want to use the sum statement sum option right to sum the numeric variables again we are using the same data we want to display these three variables customer id balance and sales label gender is equal to gender okay then sum balance and sales by gender so we want the sum of balance and sales by gender okay and now what we are doing is total balance and sales details for by value gender so what this thing will do here is it will display that corresponding gender value so one or two will be displayed here okay let me just run this if you see we have total balance and sales details for one gender okay this is the total balance you can see here the sum we are getting right this is for gender 2 we are getting the total and this is the total sum for both the genders right so here we have got the sum for balance and sales corresponding to the genders or group by the genders now suppose we want to customize the layout with by groups and id variables so what we are doing is these are some of the options we have mentioned no date page number is equal to 1 this is the line size this is the page size that means 60 observations can come in one page then first we will sort the data by gender and card holder okay and we've written out is temp sales so this sorting data by gender and card holder will be stored in temp sales first we will run this okay so you can see work dot temp sales it has sorted the data based on gender and card holder okay card holder you can see one two and all right now what we are going to do is we are going to print data is temp sales split again on star id gender by gender okay then we have two variables card holder and sales sum sales then we are labeling gender is equal to this card holder is this sales is this title sales figures okay let me just run this okay so now you can see here we have gender we have card holder and we have sales okay so gender we have put it as id so that's why it is just coming one here one it is displayed only once gender one gender two because we have written id gender okay and we are grouping by gender so if we specify id gender that means it will show it over here id is one and this is id is two right and then we are just showing the sum as sales that's why it is just showing the sum as sales for card holder one for card holder one and two which is in gender two okay so this is how we can generate different types of listing reports using proc print procedure and you can use various statements and options like sum id by depending upon the requirement what you have